And give us your understanding of the definition of marriage, and do you support DOMA? You know, I believe in traditional marriage. I really don't understand any other kind of marriage between a man and a woman is what I believe in. And um, it's, uh, you know, I I just don't think that uh, it's good for us to change the definition of that. So what about DOMA, the Defense of Marriage Act? Uh, That's a federal law that defines marriage for federal purposes as a union of one man and one woman and then protects the right of states to deal with the marriage issue as, as they choose. In Kentucky, you know, we passed a constitutional amendment uh, to uh, say that marriage is between a man and a woman, and so I think that is the right of the states, and that's where it originates, and really I think the federal government shouldn't uh, get involved with telling the states that they can't pass these laws. Now, what DOMA does, though, Senator, at the federal level, is it does define marriage for federal purposes as the union of one man and one woman. Do you support that? You know, it's kind of tricky, and I'm not sure exactly uh, how I'd come down on the federalization in part. I have said before in the past, and I continue to maintain, that we should try to keep it as a state issue. My fear is that in federalizing it, we're going to lose the battle for the whole country and keeping it state by state, uh, which is the way marriage has always been adjudicated, that we'll still have uh, areas that will continue to have traditional marriage. I think we're losing in large areas of the country now. But, uh, you know, if the urban centers are able to dictate for the rest of the country what our definition on marriage is, I'm a little concerned about that. So I've, I've really thought that we ought to keep it as a state issue. One last question. Do you think you can ever get there in terms of being a supporter of same-sex marriage at some point? I know you believe in traditional marriage. Right. I think that, uh, you know, we've got a long history with marriage. I'm not kind of willing to give up on it yet. And... Uh, the family unit, even you know, above and beyond America and before America, the family unit is something that has been, you know, come about for you know, thousands of years. You know, we've had a family structure, and I think it's an important structure. Now, not everybody in the country is going to agree with me on that. You know, there are people, and young people seem to be changing their opinions, but I think we should still be in favor of what we're in favor of, and that's uh, that there is a traditional family unit and that it's important. Um, the law is, is going to be somewhat different in the sense that the, the um, you know, where marriage is adjudicated, whether it's at the federal level or the state level. We've always had marriage certificates and we've had them at the state level. If we keep it that way, maybe we can uh, still have the discussion go on without making the decision go all the way one way or all the way the other way. Because I think right now if we say, oh, we're only going to have a, we believe in a federally mandated one man, one woman marriage, we're going to lose that battle because the country's going the other way right now. If we were to say each state can decide, I think a good 25, 30 states still do believe in, in traditional marriage. And maybe we allow the debate to go on for another couple of decades and see if we can still win back the hearts and minds of people. The Supreme Court will hear uh, arguments on same-sex marriage this week. You say the federal government should stay out of this issue and leave it as it has traditionally been left to the states. Should the court therefore strike down the Defense of Marriage Act, which is one of the cases it's going to be hearing this, this week, which bans federal benefits for same-sex couples who are legally married in their state, would you strike down uh, that as federal interference in a state matter? You know, I think it's a really complicated issue. I've always said that the states have the right to decide. I do believe in traditional marriage. Kentucky's decided it, and I don't think the federal government should tell us otherwise. There are states that have decided in the opposite fashion, and I don't think the federal government should tell anybody or any state government how they should decide this. Marriage has been a state issue for hundreds and hundreds of years. DOMA's complicated, though, because DOMA does provide protection for the states from the federal government, but then you're right, part of it federalizes the issue. I think there's a chance the court could strike down the federalization part of it. If they do, I think the way to fix it is maybe to try to make all of our laws more neutral towards the issue. And I don't want the government promoting something I don't believe in, but I also don't mind if the government tries to be neutral on the issue. You know, the tax code, I'm for a flat income tax, and we wouldn't have marriage as part of the tax code. Health insurance, I think there's a way to write it where it would be neutral and you wouldn't, you wouldn't bring marriage into the whole idea of health insurance.